Catholic chants and Quranic verses echo every year at the Trappist Monastery of Egbel in France, advancing a vision for humanity born in Algeria's Atlas Mountains. The mission of the church is to be with people, to be more human, to be more uh, brother, and to, to kind of to find a way to develop another type of brotherhood. Le plus important, c'est la rencontre des cœurs. Sommes-nous capables d'aller jusqu'au bout de nous-mêmes pour arriver à cette fraternité Alawi Abdelahoui began building bonds with Christians at a Trappist monastery in his native Algeria. C'est bien, je peux prier pendant une journée, et si en sortant ce que j'ai ressenti dans la prière, je ne suis pas capable de le traduire, ça sert à quoi He became part of a novel effort at Our Lady of the Atlas. Here, friendship between Catholics and Muslims was the norm until 1996. Christian said, I'm living in a country where there's not a lot of people sharing our faith, but there are a lot of men uh, seeking God and uh, having a real spiritual journey. And I, I think we should receive those, those people also in the monastery. They did, in gatherings called Ribata Salam, or bonds of peace, held in the monastery guest house. The Rabata Salam is the model for the interfaith celebrations at Egbel. What's the point of these meetings? Meeting, knowing uh, one the other, breaking the, the fear of not knowing one each other. Maybe if we start knowing one other and loving one another before, we won't have arrived at the same situation. De la fraternité. Christophe was the gardener. He was in charge of the agriculture. Christian, of course, was the prior. Christian de Chergé was Lieutenant de Chergé, serving in the French army during Algeria's War of Independence. He and a local policeman named Mohammed an Algerian Muslim, used to walk together in the hillsides, discussing the nature of God. One day they were ambushed by anti-French rebels. Mohammed saved Christian's life and was slain. And so began the young Frenchman's commitment to interfaith accord. War ravaged Algiers was jubilant to the point of hysteria. La joie des habitants d'Alger frôle l'hystérie. Le référendum a décidé par une... After the war, Christian became a priest in a busy parish in Paris. But he had another promise to keep back in Algeria, building bridges of faith. Christian de Chagé used to say, when you know uh, something about Algeria, you will quit the order, maybe quit the church, but you will never quit Algeria. Out of love. By the 1990s, Algeria was on the brink of civil war. Terrorism in the name of religion and excessive military force took a toll of 200,000. The intruders on the night of March 27th came in through that gate. They have done this path. They have done this path. Ils ont, ils ont frappé à la porte de Mohamed. They knocked on the door of Mohamed's right. door. Mohamed s'est levé, il est là à faire entrer, mais deux avaient déjà passé par-dessus la porte. Two jumped over the wall, 
Et ensuite, ils ont demandé à voir euh, le Brother Luke said uh, in several letters, I don't know if it will be natural or violent, but I know that it's coming now. Christian a été réveillé, Luc a été réveillé parce que les terroristes demandaient à voir le docteur pour soigner quelqu'un. Save yourselves, Christian advised the others, and some did, but seven of them were kidnapped and killed. Il savait qu'il risquait, il prenait les risques, mais les mêmes risques que la population algérienne. Les sept moines n'auraient pas voulu qu'on leur accorde plus d'attention que les milliers d'Algériens qui sont morts là-bas pour les mêmes raisons finalement. Moi, je me souviens quand on était à Tibérine au moment de, de leur mort, on a, vu, on a eu rencontré le, le gardien du monastère qui s'appelle Mohamed, qui m'a dit « Christophe, il est une lumière dans mon cœur. On a commencé un chemin ensemble, il faut continuer ce chemin. » Et pour moi, c'est un enseignement très fort dans mon engagement entre chrétiens et musulmans qu'il y ait à la fois cette dimension spirituelle et cette dimension d'action. Deschargé's brother Hubert is now an interfaith activist in Paris. He and his Muslim friend Saad Absi tutor North African immigrants and bring Muslim and Christian business people together. One of Brother Paul's nieces married an Algerian Muslim. They are advocates for immigrant rights, hoping that their children will be better accepted in future French society. Il faut continuer à travailler dans le sens du dialogue. Même si des fois on reçoit des gifles, on reçoit des coups, il faut dépasser et la politique, et la religion, et la philosophie, et tout. We are all living in the same house, creation. We have to discover how to be together, eating at the same table, in the same house. 